I'm Brian Green, professor of mathematics and physics at Columbia University and one of the co-founders of the World Science Festival, which we're talking about here today. And I'm Alan Alda, and I'm an actor and a writer and a world-class genius in general. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm helping out with the World Science Festival, too. It's an event that was inspired by the Genoa Science Festival, which is a science festival that takes place in Genoa, as the name indicates. I was invited to give a talk there uh, a couple years ago, and the fellow who runs that, Vittorio Bo, publishes my books in Italian, so I pretty much had to go when he asked me, and I, and I went, somewhat reluctantly, I have to say. But when we were there, when Tracy Day and I were there, we saw signs kind of spilling out of these buildings into the streets of this small town, and we stood there and said, this is something that should happen in New York. One of our goals in, in creating a lot of the programs in the festival is to reach outside of the core audience that would go to an event that has science in the title. We wanted to reach out to people for whom the word science would be something they'd say, no, no, not for me, but people for whom a dance performance or a theater performance or you know, some musical performance would be something they'd be attracted to. So you know, Tracy Day, I, I think, summarized it really well in saying that what we like to do is bring people in with the art and have them leave with the science. And that's what a lot of these events are about. I think one of the things that we do wrong in the educational system for science is treat it as a separate body of knowledge that is isolated from everything else in the world around us. I mean, so many kids that I've spoken to don't really recognize that the math that they're learning, that the physics that they're learning, the biology they're learning actually extends beyond the realm in which they're taught it in the classroom and explains things in the world, explains you know, where the universe came from perhaps, where, where time comes from, where does life come from. These are the big questions, but drawing the bridge between what we teach in the classroom and those big ideas is something we don't do particularly well. And I think by integrating science, by showing that it has these tentacles that reach out and touch so many aspects of life, you make science come alive. And, and that's what we're trying to do here. And yes, it is something that we need to do better in the educational system. It's, it would be nice to, um, to follow the lead of those teachers, I think, and the, and the people who, who, uh, who come and, and present science and art at the World Science Festival. Follow that lead in, in seeing where the fun is. Because I think that, that makes you, um, it just shoots you out of a cannon instead of just walking a little step by step. You, you, just, you, you get to where you're going m much more quickly and with, more, with the pleasure of flight. I had this wonderful moment um, on the way over here. I was dropping my granddaughter off at her art class and she's totally absorbed in art. And they said, you know, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to be interviewed a lot today about the science festival. Uh, and I bet you somebody says, why should you be interested in science? So what do you think? What should I answer? And I thought, this is fine. She's 15 years old. What will she say? And she thought for a second and she said, well, it helps you be more logical in all the other parts of your life. Right? Thinking scientifically, thinking clearly, looking for evidence. The main thing we learned from the first World Science Festival is that there is this untapped, largely untapped hunger in the general public for a way in to science. We were so thrilled that we put together these programs, about 40 programs last year, and didn't really know what the public's response would be, but to have lines around the block for a program on quantum physics that Alan and I did, to have a line around the block up in Harlem at the Abyssinian Baptist Church for this program with Oliver Sacks talking about music in the brain. And this was a line of people around the block hoping to get in even though all the tickets had been sold. They were looking for, for people who had uh, turned back their tickets or didn't show up. <laughs> I, I fear what my question's I'm gonna really be. I'm <laughs> really afraid of your question. The, uh, well, uh, the strings in string theory are the probably the smallest things in the universe. 
that um, I, and stop me if I'm getting too tough, if it's too Sounds dense, good. If it's too dense for you. I just, <laughs> and they vibrate, and the, the way they vibrate makes them what they are. For instance, they could be one kind of particle or another kind of particle, depending on the way they vibrate. And then sometimes they're looped, and sometimes they're strung out across vast distances of the universe. And if, and if that's so, how come airplanes don't get slowed down <laughs> by them? But that's just, you know, that's just one of the... Uh, so, uh, is there, do you have any questions about this <laughs> subject? Because I'd be glad to answer. No, that, that was very good. The only small change I would make is to emphasize that this is, at the moment, just a theory. That, that is the, what? That this is just a theory just at the, the moment. Well, it has not well, been experimentally proven. Well, just a theory is not a good way to put it. It's a <laughs> because, because that, that demotes the, the, the quality of, of what a theory is, right? You mean it's like yeah. a hypothesis? Hypothesis. It's yet yeah. to be proven. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my God, <laughs> that's that's pretty easy. Oh, oh for Norton. No I can I can if he has it in my ear. I come no, and then because then you have to do the F troop. Dum dum da da dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum dum. I can do F troop. You can. That was really? F troop. I couldn't do that. That was F troop. No kidding. Yeah, mash. I'm drawing a blank on it. Oh, that's great. So, that's great. Um, yeah, so, do we, somebody else in the audience can help yeah, us probably here. Probably everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't Alan's now going to resign from the science festival. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that's, I thought my question was like m more elemental than your question. <laughs> you mean mine was harder? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mine was yeah. unfair, unfair question. Yeah.